Kentucky Road. How am I supposed to make a video when everyone keeps making noises? I'm born in a house that I've been a house board. I'm born in a house that I've been a house board. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So as you can see we're in a completely different setup than usual today. That is because we are no longer in Scotland at our little beautiful cottage. We are back at Martin's parents house um, obviously due to the coronavirus and self-isolation we had to come back home um, because Martin's not at work anymore neither am I. And I just want to say that I hope everybody watching is doing safe and well and all your loved ones are safe and well. Um, it's uh, the weirdest time that I can remember. Um, yeah, the world's just a bit crazy at the moment and I hope that you're all okay. So what I thought I would do today is do a March favourite. So we did a February one last month and it feels like literally two minutes ago that I was doing that. Um, but I thought I would just have a little sit down and share some of the things that I've been loving um, through March. So let's go. So the first thing that I want to share with you guys are these pads. They come in a bunch of colours here. We've got pinks, blues, whites, yellows. And these are just um, reusable pads that help remove your makeup. I want to get these because um, I use cotton wool to like cleanse and tone. And it's not environmentally friendly and I've been after some of these for a while. Um, I don't know why I've taken this long to get them because I don't use wipes anymore hardly. I use the, um, oh, what do they call it, the washable cloths to make, make off. Um, and they're just so much so much easier. You get this bag with them that you just pop them in and put them in the washing machine to clean them. Um, I actually haven't used them yet, but I will do to take this off today because I haven't worn makeup for ages due to not going anywhere basically. Um, yeah, so that's kind of the first thing that I got that I want to share with you guys, which I'm excited to use. The next thing is a bit of skincare. So it is this um, mask here, just this one. Let me show you. It is the L'Oreal Paris Pure Clear Blemish Rescue Mask, and it looks like this. Obviously, I've had this for quite a while, probably like a year or so, maybe even longer. Um, it was probably in one of my old videos but I have just rediscovered this and oh my god I forgot how good it was. Obviously I usually use sheet masks um, when I'm doing a little, uh, what's it called, when I'm doing a little self care uh, routine but because of people panic buying, bulk buying, I have not been able to find sheet masks anywhere so thank you very much if you're one of those going out and being stupid and buying loads of stuff that you don't really need. Um, yeah, so I haven't been able to use any sheet masks, I know first world problems. Um, so I found this and used it yesterday and oh my god, my skin felt so good after using it. Before I had this on, my skin was dry and rough and it just felt disgusting. Um, popped this on with a makeup brush, left on for like 15 minutes, washed it off and my skin was so soft, it felt so smooth and it just felt so much more cleaner. Yeah, so I really do recommend this. And it comes in a bunch of different colours that do loads of different things, which I haven't tried, just this one. Um, I'm sure they do still sell these, actually. Um, I got this from Superdrug, I believe, but I would definitely recommend this um, if you're looking for a good um, face mask. So that's that one. And the next thing I want to share with you, another thing that I got from eBay, um, and it is scrunchies. As you can see I've got one in my hair which is this light pink colour and I've got this one here which is this gorgeous um, blue colour and oh my god I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with scrunchies. I said this in blog post and I'm pretty sure I probably said this in another video but I'm obsessed. I just think they look really good with my curly hair but I saw a video and someone said that if you wear scrunchies, you're an e-girl. Oh, I think I'm a bit too old to actually know what that means. So if any of you youngins are uh, watching, can you please explain to me what an e-girl is and do I need to stop wearing scrunchies? Because I really, really don't want to. Um, they give me joy and happiness in this crazy world and yeah, I really don't want to stop wearing them. So 
please explain to me what an e-girl is. Is it bad? I don't know. Let me know. Um, so the next thing that I want to share with you that are my favourites are some foodie bits, of course, because what else are we doing in self-isolation apart from eating? Um, it's a problem and I do think that there are, you know, two types of people in this self-isolation. You're either going to come out like fit, toned, you know, ready to go or, you know, you're going to have gained a whole lot of weight and I think I'm going to fall under that second option because I cannot stop eating. So I've got three foodie things that I want to share with you guys. So the first one is just the best thing in the world. Easter eggs. Cadbury's Easter eggs, of course. I freaking love Easter eggs. Ain't gonna lie. Probably the best chocolate in the world. Like, you cannot beat Easter egg chocolate. There's just something about it. It's Oh, it's just so much better than normal chocolate. And I know it's just dairy milk chocolate, but there's just something so much better about this. Um, obviously, Easter eggs come out with Easter, so, you know, you wait a whole freaking year to get one of these things. Um, and I've got my sauces, aka my younger sister, texting me when Tesco sell them for £2. Um, well, I mean, I was going to get them. I mean, they're not really essential items, so unless I'm doing a big food shop, I'm not just going out for an Easter egg anymore but I was before all this happened. Um, this is the only Easter egg I have left and every other Easter egg that I've had, mine has it. So if he eats this, I'm probably gonna cry because I'm not going out just to get an Easter egg. The next foodie thing that I wanna show you are these boxes. How do you say this, is it Venice? Venice Milk Chocolate Dip Fingers. These, oh my God, they're just so good. I'm obsessed with them. Um, Every car journey that we have going to Scotland, going from Scotland, I have a box of these. Um, I love them. I don't know why. They're just so good. They're just melting your mouth. I've got chocolate on. You probably only get like eight in a pack and all of the guidance colours are red as you can see. So they're not great for you, but can't help it. I just love them. Um, the next foodie thing, the last foodie thing that I'm going to share with you are uh, these what's it's flaming hot crisps well it's a bit a bit glary but i'm sure you can see them these are amazing so before those we were eating the um flaming hot cheetos from home bargains um which are amazing apart from they're like the spirally ones and i find that you can't eat a full one in your mouth because it's just too puffy and it sticks to like your teeth and things these ones are just a normal what's it size they're really small um you get loads in a bag actually which i'm quite surprised at um yeah and they're not too spicy because i cannot handle spice um whereas these are fine like if i can eat them you can eat them because i'm just a fanny when it comes to spice um so yeah so i'll move those out of the way um the next thing that i'm going to share with you is another skincare product and it is this Garnier Skin Active Botanical Balm Nourishing Moisturiser. It's a three in one day night mask. And this is in the honey flower scent formula, whatever you want to call it. I mean, that's kind of what it looks like. I've used a lot of it. I've had this for a long time. Um, but I do find that when my skin is really dry, which is a lot of the time, because I tend to have really, really dry skin, um, so if any of you know any products for dry skin, please let me know because like if yesterday for example, like it just gets me really down when my skin's just not feeling great and um, yeah, it like it just gets me, it just gets me down because I'm just like, oh, like my skin feels ugly and I feel ugly and you know, we all have those days but this, um, I put this on this morning before I do my makeup and it's quite a thick consistency so it really does give you the moisture that you need for for really dry skin so i would recommend this and like i said it's three in one so you can use it as a day cream as a night cream or you can layer it on as a mask and then wash it off which i don't think i've ever done actually um have i i'm not too sure maybe i will we'll see and then the final things that i want to share with you that i've been loving in march are um not physical objects 
Oh god, I can't remember what I wanted to share with you guys. What was it? Oh, I know what it was. So the first one was TikTok. TikTok. Eh? Bloody TikTok. I am obsessed with TikTok, honestly. I'm probably, like, way behind um, all you youngins out there. But I'm obsessed with it. I cannot stop saying things. Somebody come get her. She stays like a stripper. Cannot get that out of my head. It is literally in my head every single day. Um, yeah, that one and all the other, you know, dances and things. I have not attempted a dance because I just look stupid when I dance. Um, so I'm not going to attempt to do that. But I have made two TikToks, which are cringy. But I feel like everyone is jumping on TikTok now. We're all self-isolating because what else is there to do? Um, so I've seen a lot of celebrities jumped on TikTok since self-isolating. Um, I mean, it's just, it's great entertainment and some of them are hilarious. Some of them, um, I really don't know why people come up with these ideas because they're amazing and I just think in this time and what the world is going through, it's nice just to have that release and have something that's going to make you laugh or something that's going to inspire you. Whether it's a makeup look, whether it's um, somebody raving to BBC News, which I absolutely love. Um, if you've seen the video, then you know what I'm talking about. And the final thing that I'm going to share with you is another virtual um, thing that I can't show you. And it is the Shreddy app on Instagram um, if you don't know um, it's founder Grace Beverly who makes the um, oh, what are they called BND uh, resistant bands which are amazing um, she has this fitness app called Shreddy um, and on Instagram um, they're posting for free a workout every day um, I think for 14 days just to get you know people through this self-isolation and obviously all the gyms and stuff are closed so it's just something that's you can do at home. Let me tell you, these workouts are a killer, okay? I did the first one yesterday, which was a HIIT workout. Um, killed me, couldn't breathe afterwards. Like, literally felt like I wanted to throw up, um, but so good. Did the leg day workout today, um, and usually when I go to the gym and I do like legs and glutes and stuff, I can't feel it until the next day. Let me tell you, I'm feeling it today. I literally cannot walk up the stairs. It is a struggle. So I know that tomorrow it's gonna be even worse and it was a killer. But I'm really, really grateful to like Grace and the Shreddy team for putting it on Instagram for free when obviously they usually make money from this by having it on the actual app. Um, because, I mean, there are so many home workouts on Instagram anyway, but I just I've gravitated towards this one for some reason um, maybe because I was curious about the app anyway because I actually don't have the shreddy app um, so it's nice to see some of the things that go on there um, but just the fact that they've done it for free and not for a profit just I mean that's just amazing so um, I really recommend if you're missing the gym or you're feeling sluggish um, or you've just been eating a crap ton of you know quarantine snacks um, and you want to do a bit of a workout, go follow Shreddy on Instagram and do the workouts because they're amazing. I've been reposting them to my story on Instagram, so if you want to follow me, I usually put my little um, Insta name at the start of the video, so go there, Caroline Davies 93 um, Yeah, so they're amazing. Um, and I think that when tomorrow's workout comes, I'm probably going to struggle because I'm so sore today, but... It's great, so that's fine. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is it for my March favourites. Um, I know it's only been pretty short, but, and we've had a couple of interruptions, but I mean, it's fine. Um, I was gonna do a video of like how I'm sort of a readjusting to being back in Martin's parents' house and you know, like the whole, how the whole self-isolation thing is doing but I think I might do that in like a uh maybe just do like a get ready with me chatty video where I do my makeup and we have a little chat 
we'll see let me know if that's something that you would like to watch from me um and that is it so be safe be well wash your hands take care of yourself and yeah um i will see you all in the next video bye